Well, what's up, everybody? We back. We back. Pass some money playing. You know who we are. Everybody, you know who we are. Anyway, but now finally, finally, Alex has become part of the investment world. What I mean by the investment world, Alex is uh, finally actually spent the night on one of his overnight trips. So um, uh, with that being said, so for everybody that know, Alex is super cheap. So him staying overnight, getting the hotel, that's, you know, this is first experience doing it. So we're going to, we're going to run it down. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what he, what he had planned, what he had going and then how the overnight trip, you know, be like, he's all grown up now. You know, we're going to go into, you know, see Alex's experience, talk about what he did when he was out there, you know, uh, living, living on the wild, you know, things of that nature. So Alex first starting off, I got to ask. So what was it like? Was you, uh, did you, was you scratching and itching when you had to, you know, pay for that hotel to spend a night? What was that like? Man, I so I got a cheap hotel, like with tax, it came out to like 80 and some change. And I was like, good guy. Okay. I was like, man, this is, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is detrimental. And it's funny though, because um, the, from buying so many materials for this project, the mm -hmm. cash back actually paid for the hotel. So it worked out. No. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> hey, every, everybody, if you knew this channel, you don't know, but everybody else that ain't knew this channel, you knew he was going to find a way, right? <laughs> but, um, so you, you, you had your first overnight experience. This is really not a big deal. I just want to make it a big deal because Alex had to spend a dollar or two. But, um, so you was out there in Georgia, just, you know, give us a rundown of what you was, what you was doing out there. So this is the second weekend, um, that the guys have been working the guys go up on the weekends to do work the crew that i use at least they go up on the weekends to do work and the last weekend was when they first began and then this weekend was the second time so right now they're about nine i would say 90 to like 95 percent done and then they'll finish everything up by the following weekend so we, we were just up there Doing work, really. I was helping them out in the sense of because I was trying to just push it through and right. make sure it wasn't like delayed. So I was trying to save them time from having to make trips to like Lowe's and food and all that. So I was just like running around, getting them materials and stuff. And with the little stuff that I could help out with, I was helping that out, helping out with that as well. So really, I was I was up there just trying to just push it through i'm just trying to get this done so i'm not not very upset that you know that will be done by next week instead of this weekend so i mean glad that we can get it done in within about three weeks right and uh for the people that don't know so we catch up on the story because people probably wonder like what project is he talking about so alex closed on a, a rental property a duplex uh i want to say he closed two weeks ago could be a little bit longer, give or take. Um, and then so what his plan was, because one of the units was already rented, the other unit was vacant. What he did was he planned to update the vacant unit so he could achieve, you know, maximum rent and market rent in the area. And then further down the line, when the other tenant choose to move out or extend or whatever, what have you, then he will do the upgrades. But he just bring in the, the property. What year was that property built, Alan? Shoot, I don't, man, I don't even know. Um, I don't have it right now, but it was around, I think, the eighties. I want to say. Okay, so, so yeah, it's nineteen eighties, and um, we're gonna do another video and and get into the before, during, and after photos and stuff like that. But um, when I went up there, I went up there. It was like me and Alex was like leapfrogging days going up there. Me for other reasons, but anyway. But uh, but Alex, what he did, he took the property. I'm just gonna say 1980s because that's what the that's what it looked like when because I was I got there during the during phase I wasn't there at the before phase but on the next video when we do the before during and after we get a better look at the before but um but Alex took it from the 1980s looks to you know 2023 looks I mean he's he's updating it from from back to front. Uh, I'm not gonna say he's gutting it like taking out all the walls or whatever, but he's putting in new. I'm t I'm telling him like it's my project, right? <laughs> but, um, he put in new, you know, new bathrooms, new kitchens, new flooring, uh, taking out a lot of things, all the old stuff. I mean, you 
for people that's 1980s, I was only born then, so you wouldn't even know. But um, for the people that are 1980s, you didn't remember how the, our houses used to look back then. But he's updating it to the 2023 feel, which he's doing a hell of a job on painting the inside. He's doing he's doing a lot, doing way more than I would do. So, <laughs> uh, but no, it, it's look good. It looked good. He he did a hell of a job with it. But so now let's get to the trip. That's the one thing I want to talk about. So, <laughs> so you on a trip, right? <laughs> so you on a trip. So. How close was it for you to be like, I'm not going to get this hotel. I'm just going to sleep in the car. You know what? It's funny. So it actually, I, I just, honestly, I just booked the, the hotel. It wasn't even a thought because this is what happened. So I get home from work at like uh, 11, 10, 11 o'clock uh, Friday. And... Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to wake up around five, head up to Georgia. So I'm just like laying there. It's like 3.30 and I haven't slept. And I was like, screw this. I'm just going to (laughs) drive. So I was going up and then I was getting tired. I was like, okay, so I pulled over at Love's. Oh, so let me, let me, let me retract. Since I didn't sleep, I was like, I'm going to make a stupid decision. So let me just book a hotel <laughs> and I'll just cancel right. it. <laughs> so I didn't want to get up there and then like, I'm tired as heck. And then there's no hotel. So right before I left, I booked the hotel, but on the way there, I took like one hour, like a one hour nap. That was it running off of one hour. So, which I learned a lot from it's a, uh, it's just mental. Like, like we've talked about before, right, but right. you're mental because shoot, running off of an hour of rest and you know i was still up running around doing like getting materials helping them out up until like 10 p.m that night and fully functional i mean i was doing good but i did book the the hotel prior because i (laughs) i knew if i didn't i probably had made a stupid decision so i was like let me just do this i can't think straight and the stupid decision he's talking about because every time i I don't get on him. I just say I can't do it. See, Alex, he's, you know, young Thundercat. He can go, you know, 20, 30 hours of driving. Me, four hours max, and I need to pull over and play dead for about a good 24 hours before I drive again. And But no, the reason why I asked you that, because it was funny, because uh, cause you was there this week. I was up there last week, and uh, I got out of my hotel, and I just went to a rest stop and I just climbed in the back of my car and just said, forget this. I'm going to sleep in the back of the car. Forget this. Yeah. And then for, for, like I said, people that's new to it, new to this channel, Alex, yes, we are. Well, Alex way more cheaper than me, but we are cheap. And, and this is how I look at it. I don't know how Alex look at it. And so when I'm by myself, I can sleep anywhere. I mean, I can sleep in the back of the car. I can sleep in the corner. I mean, I'm not looking for, you know, the best of the best hotels. I'm just looking for something that I could lay my head, wake up, and then get back to work. It ain't like I'm going to dress to the nines and go to some meeting or something like that. It's just somewhere to sleep just to continue the next endeavor. I mean, you out there with smelly, stinking construction workers. You ain't out there uh, at a board meeting or nothing like that. Right? And, and that's how I look at it. Now, when the family, if me and the family go go somewhere, I mean, I might upgrade a couple stars on the uh on the uh travelocity report or something like that. But when it's me, yeah, I ain't even gotta have a star. Matter of fact, I'm looking for a parking lot. That's really what I'm looking for. So yeah, no, it was just it was interesting because I know that was like this is this is your first time going out there just doing work and then staying overnight, right? Yes. Uh no, actually I did something similar um with the the single family home in Georgia. I uh, I kind of did the same thing, stayed up there, helped them out with like materials and stuff. And that actually worked out good because it was just one project. It was just fixing the foundation. This one was like they're doing everything. And then the previous owners, I don't know if it was the previous owner or probably the one before. He, as far as cosmetic stuff, flooring, wall tile in the bathroom and stuff did a horrible job so like it i mean it took the guy and that's why it's taken you know it's going to take three weekends to finish because i mean there was four layers of flooring and then the there was like this thick of like cement 
on the wall for the shower tile. And so they they had a right, it. right, yeah. We don't, we don't want to give up all the details. We're gonna do that in the next video on before doing and after. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give Alex first. Uh, well, this is the first road trip solo. Now, the last time you was with your wife, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first one. I yeah, to, yeah. That, that's what uh, I meant. Going solo is like I don't know. It feels cool. It's like because yeah. like, <laughs> like you just focusing on what you need to do and like yeah, I know it was totally different. So it was cool to do. All right. And you're not saying that you can't if you got your significant other, which you, you can't focus, but you don't have to worry about them. You're just there. You can you can just be a you can be a guy's guy. Yeah, you can just be a guy's guy. You ain't got to worry about taking a shower, smelling good. You're going to just be running around right. funky. It don't matter. And then you can just go do what you got to do. Now, if you got your significant other there, you can't just be all funky, you know, in an actual hug or something like that. You know, you got to <laughs> hit the shower. And guys are guys. We dirty people. So for all, the, for all those that uh, just bring y'all up to date on the Alex saga of uh, going on his first road trip, solo just want to update you on that but we'll see you in the next video we'll talk about before doing and afters of the remodel that he's doing on his property see you in the next video see you guys